I said, I'd really like jalapenos on there. And then some some old cheese. Oh. Yeah, and then, like, they, they put the jalapenos under the cheese. Under the cheese? Under I thought it was on top of the cheese. No, it doesn't even make sense. Oh, we got mail. We have mail? We have mail! It's Did been you? a while. It's been a long time. It's been We've a really been long waiting. time. waiting. No, we haven't been waiting. Actually, no, we haven't been waiting. We haven't been waiting. Should no. we check the mailbox? Let's go check the mailbox. Oh. There's definitely something there. It looks kind of creepy. Like it's It is a little bit creepy, yeah. It's pretty exciting yeah. though. Who puts mail like this? Yeah. What, yeah. do you want to you you grab it? I'll meet you over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, nothing happened, so. Was it safe? It was safe, yes. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, but read the message. Bricks the... I can't read it. It's like this. Who writes mail like this? This is not normal. No. Now I'm scared. They might need to go back to school. Now well, I'm scared. It says Brooks the Wicca Epropa. Epropa? Epropa. Epropa. What is this? What do you guys write? I don't know. Yeah. I'm scared. Scared? I'm a little bit scared. I'm kind of excited. Okay. It could say free chocolate <gasps> under the KTV sign. You and I both had different <laughs> ideas on the KTV side. <laughs> but you know what? No chocolate here! No, no chocolate there! No! This is a problem. No chocolate. No chocolate. Well, maybe, maybe the letters mean numbers. Maybe? Like the letter B is B. the A. A, B, two. two. <gasps> is there going to be two billion dollars underneath, underneath KTV time? Not that one. No money. Dang it. Oh. Okay, <sighs> hold on. I have an idea. Hold my, hold the message. I'm holding. I'm waiting. I'm thinking I need to visualize the message. Visualize it? Read the message again. Okay. Brick Star Wicca Epro. Epro. Well, Jeff, I think we might need to think about this look. Are you over here? Jess, I think we need to have a think about this a little bit Nelson. longer. Nelson, over here. No, continue saying there. No, too far. There you go. Jess, I think we need to have a bit of a think. Okay. Maybe switchy roo the, switchy the letters. Switchy roo. And then we'll come back after this segment. After this segment. And uh, let you know how we go. We'll think about it just for a little bit. Little we'll see bit. you very soon. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, hey Matthias, what are you doing up there? Oh, you know, just, you know, checking out the views. It's quite cool up here. Oh, the weather's nice? Yeah, it's nice weather, nice views. Uh, uh, must be nice. It must be. Have you noticed there's this big target on the ground? Yeah, what's this What's this target doing here? That's really weird. Yeah. I wonder if you want to throw stuff at it, though. Throw stuff at it? You got yeah. stuff to throw down? Oh, I've always got stuff to throw down. Well, let's see if it will bounce. Yep, all right. right. What Today, do you got? Well, I've got a whole bunch of blue things. So blue first things. of all, I've got this beach ball. Beach ball. Yeah. Will. Okay. It bounce? I don't know. I don't know either. Let's find out. Ready? One, two, three. That bounce. That definitely bounced. That that's a, a good bounce. That's a solid bouncer. It's, it's out of here. It's going to. Bye. That's, that was a good bounce. Do you have anything else that'll bounce with Dias? I got some other stuff here. All right, next up, I have some bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Yeah. I love bubble wrap. I love the popping of bubble wrap. That is one of my favorite things to do. It is really good. Do you reckon it's going to pop when it hits the ground? I think it's all going to pop when it hits the ground and that pop's going to make it bounce so high. That's what I'm, I'm hoping that happens anyway. All right, well, let's find out. Ready? Let's Three, find out. Two, one. I didn't hear it pop, Matthias. No, I couldn't. Look, I can't hear much up here, actually. Huh? Huh? What? I said I can't hear much from up here. Well, it's still popping. That's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it all still right. pops. It didn't bounce, though. Mm. Let's try some more things. Maybe they'll bounce. All right. Uh, let's see. I've got, what do you got? Uh, some water. Some water? Yeah, some, you know, some water. Classic, classic uh, blue stuff. It's, <laughs> I believe this is Australian natural spring water. Ah, oh, so now spring water. Spring water is very springy. So yeah. of course it's going to bounce because of the spring. Let's, let's have a look. Let's Matthias. have a look. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, that's... Is it, is That's it bouncing? Not working. That's not working. It's not, uh, okay, maybe we'll try it with the bottle around Yeah, it. try the bottle. Yeah, let's see try if that. that works. All right. Ready? Yep, Three, I'm ready. Two, one. 
Well, uh, didn't did it bounce. It didn't bounce? It's not that springy, I guess. Not that springy. Not that springy. Maybe thought we it, filled anyway. it with tap water. That's what it yeah. was, probably tap water. It made a tap noise. You got anything else? I got one more thing. One more thing, let's see. I've got uh, just a blue plastic ball. Mm. Yeah. Old, old faithful plastic. I think that's got to bounce, right? It's got to bounce. Let's find out, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, nice one, it bounced. I couldn't I couldn't catch it though, but it bounced. It did, that's, what that's a, the most bounce one we had today. I think it? this is a good bounce. It's a good bounce. Well, thanks for watching Will It Bounce, guys. We'll see you again next time for some more Will It Bounce. See you next week. We're back. We are back, hello. Are back. Hello. So, recap. We found a message, this message, in the mailbox. What does it say? Bricks da wicca epra. Got it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's, I was scared. Just a little bit. Yes, but you're back. I am back. Yes. I feel, I'm feeling a lot better. We've had a long think about this one. I think the letter X means 10. 10. Ooh. Mm. That is Roman numerals. Yeah, that's 10. an idea that hasn't gone anywhere. So no. we cut that one out. Yeah. Scrap that Scrap that out. idea. We're still working on it. Still working. Now, I don't know where to go from here though. Not sure? No. Well, sometimes we have to look a little closer. What we do, do have to look a little bit. <gasps> Nelson? Yes? I still have my magnifying glass. Okay. Pull it out! Ta-da! Oh, very I still useful. Have, yes. Right, I'll hold it, it is a very useful one. I'll hold Thanks. it and you look. Okay. What? No, it still looks the same. What brand of permanent marker do you reckon they use? Sharpie? Could it be Sharpie? Mm. Maybe. Classic Sharpie. Classic Sharpie. Classic Sharpie. Yeah. Mm. No, Maybe. not helpful. No, wait, let me get a little closer. <gasps> Jess, I have an idea! I have an idea. What is your idea? I was walking in the garden and I noticed something. Something okay. was different. Normally, oh. normally I sit by the garden, right? And I have a look, have, like smell the roses. I prune some of the leaves. Oh, you take pat care the astronaut of them. on the head. Oh, you take care yeah, of them. Yeah. That's really nice. So this is what the garden normally looks like. But today, but today, it was different. <gasps> this is what it looks like. Can um, you see Nelson. what's different about the garden? Oh, wait. Do you think it's the roses? It could be the roses. Is it? Could it? Could it be the astronaut's shield? Could it be shield? the leaves? What about the light? Oh, the light. Maybe the, the light, light. Maybe the light. Something is different. Something, something is, is different. I can't put different. my finger on it, but something is different. <gasps> I know. I know. Wait. I see it. Hold on. Let me go get it. Let me wait, go get it. Wait. Nelson. Nelson. Jess, <gasps> it's another clue. A note. Gentlemen on the cameras, get a closer look at that. Uh-oh. What is um, it? Bo boys, what does it say? What is it? I, I forget, know. they don't speak. Um, <laughs> we have to read for them. Oh, oh dear. Letters. letters. Letters? Letters and more letters. More letters. I'll hold it up and you take a closer look. Um, 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 uh, ooh, wait a second. Wait a second! Okay. Okay, I find, I, there's two Ks. N. Wait. N. K, N. K means N. K means N! We're what? Does that mean OK means O nay? O nay! No, I don't think so. Well, no, we'll, we'll ponder really. these things. We'll see you guys right after oh, teaching. I'm still stuck, Nelson. It's all right. <laughs> Are you ready to do some detective work this morning? You know, this term we've been having some fun investigating the mysteries about God's kingdom. We've been looking at the stories or parables that Jesus told that give us clues to who God is and what his kingdom is like. Like how God welcomes everyone into his kingdom, how he has great joy in us, and how he's given different, us different gifts and talents that he wants us to use. Well, there's so many more mysteries for us to unlock. So pick up your magnifying glass or put on your detective hat and let's have some fun. First of all, let's see what clues have been delivered to us today. It is... Ooh, container of food scraps. I wonder what that might be for. It doesn't smell very nice. I hope that's not the food we're going to eat in God's kingdom because I don't want to eat that, but it's all good. There's a special message. We're looking at Luke 15, verse 11 to 31 today, which it's a good thing 
They've given us a Bible as well. Let's dive straight in and see what this parable is and unlock the clue to what the mystery about God's kingdom is today. The parable is about the lost son. Oh, I love this story. Let me tell you what Jesus' story was like. Jesus said this, Once upon a time, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Dad, give me your share of, my money, of your money now. I don't want to wait for you to die. So his father divided his money and his property with his two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed all of his belongings, including his favorite teddy bear, and moved away. Well, he threw lots of big parties and spent his dad's money on really expensive things like, I don't know, race cars, inflatable dinosaurs, and lots and lots of chocolate. But soon his money started to run out. And at the same time, a famine swept through the land and he began to starve. Well, because he had nowhere else to turn, he found a job feeding pigs on a farm, stuff like this. And because he was so hungry, there came a time when he looked at the food the pigs were eating and thought even that looked good. Well, I don't want to eat that. But as he sat in the mud with those smelly pigs, he thought to himself, when I was at my dad's place, even the servants there had more food than I have. I know. I will get up and I will go home and I'll say to dad, dad, I've done the wrong thing. I've made some bad choices that have hurt you and hurt God. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Please hire me as a servant. So that young man, he got up out of the mud and he started trudging home step by step by step. While he was still a long way off, he looked up and saw his dad running towards him and he went, uh oh, I'm in trouble now. But no, his father ran to him and gave him a big hug and a kiss. The son said, Dad, I've done the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Please hire me as a servant. But his dad didn't even seem to listen to him. Instead, he yelled to the servants, hurry, quick, bring the best clothes, put a ring on his finger and put some shoes on his feet. Let's have a party because this son of mine was dead and is now alive. He was lost and now he's found. Let the party begin. Well, remember there was an older brother. He heard the noise of the party and he came to find out what it was. When he heard it was a party for his brother, he was angry. He's like, no, this brother, he did the wrong thing. He made some bad choices. He wasted all dad's money. We shouldn't be throwing him a party. But the dad said, no, you see this son, he was lost, lost in his poor choices, lost in sin. And yet he chose to come home. He's now alive again. He's been found. And that's why we need to celebrate. And that's the end of that parable, but it's not the end of the message about God's kingdom that is hidden in it. You see, Jesus used this story to teach us about God's love for us. It was able, it was a parable that teaches us that no matter what choices we make, God will always forgive us. So our bottom line for today is three words. God forgives me. Can you say that with me? Ready? God forgives me. You know, we can try to be perfect and do the right thing all the time, kind of like the older brother in our parable. But you know, there will always be times when we do slip up, when we get jealous of other people, or when we get angry at our siblings. Maybe we try to do things our own way and disobey our parents. Or maybe if someone says something mean to us, we just wanna hurt them back. But the good thing is, and what this parable tells us, is that no matter how many wrong choices we make, when we come back to God and say we're sorry, he will always forgive us, just like the father forgave the son here. And so we can remember that even when we sin and do the wrong thing, we can come back to God. We can say we're sorry and he'll forgive us. And that's what our mystery is about today. So I think we've sold it, these, solved it, these uh, gross pig slop food, which thankfully we don't have to eat. And the story that Jesus told about the lost son remind us that God forgives me. Let's pray and thank God for that. God, thank you. Thank you that we can come to you all the time, that you will always love us even when we do the wrong thing. God, we're sorry for the times when we have gone against your best plan. And God, thank you for forgiving us every single time. God, we thank you that you're always with us and that you will always love us. In your name we pray, amen. No, 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 no. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Wait, what did you do? Uh, nothing, nothing. I've been figuring out the message, been working on it, um, got nothing. Okay, okay, you're not 
believe. <coughs> Sorry. Do you what need a moment to catch your breath? Yeah, well, let bit. me just recap, everybody. So last time we got a message. Brooks, I'm gonna work with That's good. Yeah, and that's pretty accurate. We got um, some more clues. But. And then I wrote it nice and big. You did, but. Still not helpful. Still no. not helpful. Still no. Not helpful. But what um, I found. Oh yes. I think it might be helpful. Is it, is it story time with Jess? It's story time with Jess. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. So I was over at my tree. Like I go every 20 minutes. That is my tree. He and I are great friends. Um, but as I was reaching into the tree for the second time, I felt something that's not usually there. It was it a caterpillar? Because if it is a fluffy caterpillar, do not touch Do those. not touch those. Do not touch those. Do not touch fluffy Very dangerous. Yes. Very dangerous. But. Well, what did you find? I found. Another clue! Another clue! So someone else knows about your secret tree. <gasps> I hope not. Yeah. Hope and you put some security messages in place. I did. You did? I did. Lasers? No, but... Barbed wire. No one will go near my tree again. Ever again. Ever. Ever again. <laughs> did you put a hedge of protection? I did put a hedge of protection. Oh, crack me up. Shield of faith in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you find? What did you find? Share, I... share, share. Ready? Ready? <laughs> oh, you nearly ripped it. <laughs> I Ooh, did. Boys, get a close up. That was good. We have clues. And. Oh! Yeah! Oh, look at this! Look it's at this! It's the full thing! It matches! It matches! Well, let's solve the mystery of let's this message. It. I Ready? hope it has something Nelson? to do with lollies. Lollies? Yeah. Hey. Do you know? No, no, I'm about to figure that out. Okay. Okay. Well, Yell it out. What I've got a B. What does a B, B mean? B is E. E. Oh. If that's eggs, I'm allergic. <laughs> oh, you fucking. Oh, no, it's rough. <laughs> <laughs> What's after that? R is U. Oh, E U. Are we sure? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> X A. A. Uh oh. I don't, I don't know any words beginning with E, U, A. No! Okay, 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 okay let's keep going. D. Yep. G. G. Oh, you wag. <laughs> this is hard. I'm this scared. Hard. What's I'm you concerned. Mean? U, X. X. What word has that? X. I'm so confused. We know what, we know what H is because from this sheet, it's a K. Is that correct? H. Yes. Yes. Excellent. W. And w. Zed. Zed? You're a Zed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll I'll keep my insults to myself. H. K. K. E. E. H. H. R. U. U. P. J. J. E. I'm more confused. Everyone playing at home, help, help. What do you think the message means? Help us out, please. Maybe it's gonna be like one of those forever mysteries. Forever mysteries? Forever mysteries. Dun, dun, like, dun. Where, do, where do flies go in winter? <gasps> so true. And, and how does ice actually freeze? How does ice, or who found out about my secret tree? Yes. Maybe their name is Uwaga Kuta 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 We've got nowhere, guys. We've got no idea. We've got nowhere. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode of KTV. It's been fun. My name's Nelson. I'm Jess. Great to see you guys. Bye. See you next time.